with rich natural flavor. Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about the yellow tang. This beautiful fish comes from the reefs of Hawaii, but it can also be found spread throughout Indonesia and the Great Barrier Reef. Also known as the yellow sailfin tang or the yellow surgeon fish, the yellow tang is one of the most sought after fish for the home saltwater aquarium. It's an active fish and has great color and it's nice to watch as it swims all over the aquarium. It's relatively hardy and easy to take care of. Normally these fish are reef safe and do a good job of chewing on the algae in your tank. It can be a feisty fish, so if you're going to add it to a tank with more peaceful companions, you'll want to add him later so that he doesn't have the time to get territorial before the others get settled in. On that note, they can be increasingly territorial to other tangs, especially of the same species. If you want to try multiple tangs in your tank, make sure you have a very large tank and you'll probably have the best luck with adding different types of tangs with different body shapes. If you absolutely must have two yellow tangs in your tank, you may want to try to release them simultaneously into the aquarium. While normally a herbivore, these guys will eat the meaty food that you put in your tank for the other fish, but you need to make sure they're getting good helpings of seaweed or algae. This will help with their health, and it's said to keep their aggression down. The yellow tang can grow to be approximately 8 inches, and they need plenty of room to swim around. The minimum recommended tank size for this fish is 100 gallons. So let's go over our checklist. The yellow tang is an easy care level fish that is feisty, but they work well in both reef or fish only tanks. So what's your experience with the yellow tang? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. The yellow tang commonly lives five to seven years in the aquarium, but there are some reports of them living substantially longer in larger tanks with good husbandry or in the wild. No wonder Newtang was selected for the space shuttle.